Hello, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Arduino Uno, plus how to drive an, an I squared C OLED display with this Arduino that I made. What you, what you will need is you will need an AT Mega 328P-PU. Mine's a P-PN, but that doesn't really matter. And, and preferably, you you should get it with the bootloader installed. C but I was messing around with this and I accidentally uh, wiped the bootloader, but I was able to get it back on there. So with so if you're starting out, with bootloader would be best. So I'm gonna go put that in the breadboard. Where the um, where pin one is on the ro um, is on uh, pin the row one of the breadboard. So so the dot is on row one. That way I that that way I don't have to continue continually keep counting. I'm going to put it in. I'll go. Bring it back. Get in there. All right. There's a chip put on there. Now, th now this chip requires a crystal, uh, a 16 megahertz one. So I have that there, and I have two 20 p 20 20 picofarad capacitors. So these capacitors need to go um, bet between one of the crystal pins and ground, but I don't know which. So, that, but. To know where the crystal goes, we need to look at the um, the Arduino pin mapping, which is there. So the but you, so the so there's that, there's the crystal down there. The, the two crystal pins goes between pin nine and pin ten, but green, but then pin ground is on pin eight. That's pretty handy. That way the capacitors can be right next just next door. So here's the board. Now I'm you. Between like nine and ten, I'm going to put the crystal in there. Then, then the pin right above the top hand crystal pin is ground, so I can put one of the capacitors in like that. Oops, I bent. I bent it. I'm just gonna just turn that around so you can see. Uh, all right. Capacitor one is in there. Now capacitor two needs to go between the other pin of the crystal and ground. I have no, I don't really know why these capacitors are strictly necessary, but but from but in, in my experience they are required. Okay, there they are. Now this now this chip is all done with the with the oscillator. But now we need to connect power. So I have these two wires here hooked up to outer clips. Are go they're going to my ATX power supply over there. That that I, that is not on yet, but I will turn that on when when I'm ready. So this pin, so so pin so pin seven just above ground is VCC. So I'm going to connect pin pin seven to VCC and pin eight with where the capacitors went to ground. Now the power connections are done, but we're going to need to program program the chip now. For that, for, for program for the programming, if if your if if your chip is pre-programmed, then you don't need to program it. But like me, I need I need to program I need to program my Arduino sketches onto it. So what you're going to need is a USB to serial converter. The pins that are required are ground, VCC, TX, RX, and DTR. Now, now DTR DTR needs a hundred nanofarad capacitor. But I put so there's the capacitor, if you can see, and I and then I soldered a button on. So that button will short out the capacitor, and for me that capa the capacitor charges up, so I have to I have to short it before I upload the sketch, but or I can short it afterwards. But that but that capacitor um, does get charged up, so that button is pretty pretty much necessary. So so how how so. How, so stay tuned to see how to program this chip. All right, now I'm going to show you how to program the chip. So there are all these wires on the USB to serial converter. So I'll just tell you the connections. So on, so I'm going to disconnect the power since since I don't want the the ATX power supply and the chip uh, and, and the USB to serial converter to be to, to be running this thing at the same time. So. I'm just going to connect 
uh, pin seven of the chip of the chip, which is the which is the VCC, to the VCC on the breadboard. Then the ground on the breadboard goes to the chip's ground where the capacitors meet. So now the USB to serial converter. I'm going to I'm going to find the uh, VCC output. I'm going to connect that to the VCC rail. I'm, I'm untangling the wires. Okay. That, that to the VCC rail. Uh, yeah, the colors are not that appropriate. And and I'm going to connect the USB to serial converter's ground to the ground of the breadboard. Now, there's only three more connections to hook up. So, so for that, you need to see, you need to go back to the pin mapping here. So the reset pin or pin one needs to needs to go to to the to DTR through the with the capacitor in series, and then and pin and then pin one in the chip or a digital pin zero needs to connect to the TX on the US on the USB to serial converter. So the, so RX on the USB to serial converter goes to TX on the chip, and TX on the chip goes to, to RX on the USB to serial converter. So transmit to receive, receive to transmit. So transmit go, transmit of the of the USB to serial converter. Which is uh, this green wire here? Go this this wire goes to p pin two, or which is receive of the chip. So, so so the chip will receive the convert the USB to serial converter. Then the pin one of the chip goes through the capacitor and button arrangement. So that that but you can just use a piece of wire to short out the capacitor. That's the, um, the button is not required, but I make I think that's easier. And then pin three must go to RX on the USB to serial converter, so, and, and then we're ready to program it. The, so there's the whole setup. Now, now, now the USB to serial converter mu must be plugged into the computer. I'm not the best with holding the, the phone. Okay, so then the light comes on there. Now I need to go to the Arduino software. I'm going to. I'm just going to upload the uh, standard blink sketch so to f file example examples basics blink so this is basically going to blink an led on pin 13 like on a normal arduino so you, need, you need to go to tools the the board must must be an arduino uno since this we're trying to, that's what we're trying to replicate the serial port is um the, the is the usb to, to uart since this convert USB to zero converter needs a driver, and then you need to go programmer is the normal AVR ISP Mark II. Now, I'll I'll, I'll sort out the capacitor. i just and, and now I can just click upload. Wait wait for that to say to tell. All right, it's done uploading. Now to see if that's working, you need to go back to the pin mapping here. So that's on digital pin 13, which you can see down there. It is five up from the bottom, so, so I'm going to I'm I'm going to take an LED from my parts bin. Uh, here, an LED. So one, two, three, four, five. That's on row ten of the breadboard. Connect that through through to ground, and it isn't working. It was working for a second though. What happened? What happened there? Hmm? What? Well, it just stopped. It just apparently stopped working. I'm going. I'll. I, I will be right back once I have figured out what what happened. I'm not sure what just happened, but the chip must have locked up because I just disconnected power and, and reconnected power, and it started working again, and it just stopped working. Like, so I, I don't know what's going on. Something is go a little fishy is happening. But, what? Something fishy is happening. Uh, the crystal is in. The capacitors are in. The LED is in. The power wires are in. I'm going to go pressing the button to discharge that capacitor if there's any charge left. And it's working. I have no idea what just happened, but it's it's working again. 
So uh, let's try and make it a double blink. I'm just go so you can watch the thing not work. <laughs> it just stopped working. I'm going to just make the double blink code. So what you need so I'm just going to copy the blink code and put it again put it in again again. Alright. Show you in a sec. Alright, I've just written the double blink code there. So so it's so it says so it's so it's high, short delay and low, short delay high, short delay short delay and low, long delay until it gets back up to high. So that should be a double blink. So let's go just make sure capacitor is discharged and click and click upload. So that those Alright, done uploading. So that so that works. Now now for the promised OLED driving. I'm going to drive this little I squared C OLED off of this Arduino here that I just made. So I'm going to say bye bye LED. Okay, so I need to see which pins are SDL and which pins are S which pins SDL which pin and then which pin, which pin is SDA. So you come over to the pin mapping. This page is awesome. So, so it's it. So it says, oh, focus there. Twenty eight there is SCL. It's, it's not defined there, but it says SCL. And the pin down, the pin down it on twenty seven is SDA. Oh, thing decided to focus. Awesome. SCL and SDA. I need to connect SCL on the OLED to SCL on the little thing here little on my Arduino and SDA to SDA. Now this. OLED here is I need to connect four, the four wi four wires v, the power VCC and ground or G or GND which which I am just going to hook up. This thing doesn't use very much power, so I can do this on the computer's USB port. Okay. All right, now here's the SCL and SDA. So I'm going to look back at the OLED, and the SDA is the yellow one. So the orange one goes up on 28, and, and 27, and on 27, it is the is the other pin, SC, is SDA. So here's the here's the uh, entire setup here. The OLED's wired up. So now that so now I'm going to go in here, I'm, and I'm going to see file and example examples U8G. This is like U8G, the U8G library is an excellent library for controlling these uh, I squared C OLED displays. So I'm going to see the graphics test. Now, in, now in this sketch, there's one thing you need to uncomment is the uh, graphics driver for me. This OLED is an SSD 1306 and um, 120 by 128 by 64 in in um, I scored C. It looks like this line's it here. Yeah. So I'm going to uncomment that. This is the I said I squared C slash TWI. And there it is. I don't know don't really need to know that. I'm going to discharge the capacitor. It's hard to remember. And click upload. Let's watch the display while it uploads. We've got done uploading. And and now it is drawing the different um, graphical elements. In that flickering, you see, if we do see any, that is basically just the camera. It's not visible at all. Hope you like this video. See you later.